welcome back to Fly High Balloons Creations. Welcome everyone. My name is Deborah. If you're new here, we are so glad to have you. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you like and find the content helpful. Today, I am super excited to show you how to make this stunning, no script, professional looking balloon garland using an easy to find Amazon kit. This decoration is perfect for birthdays, weddings, baby showers, or any special events. And the best part is you don't need any scripts or special tools to get started. Let's jump right in. Materials needed are two balloon garland kits from Amazon. I purchased two of these woodland animal themed arch kits for $16.89 each. And each kit came with 130 pieces. I already sort them out by sizes and colors. 62 pieces stage green balloons, two 18 inch, 30 10 inch, 35 inch, 62 pieces blush balloons, two 18 inch, 30 10 inch, 35 inch, 62 pieces brown balloons, two 18 inch, 30 10 inch, 35 inch, and 60 pieces chrome gold balloons, 30 10 inch and 35 inch. These variety of different sizes of balloons will give your garland a full dynamic look. The kit came with four pieces of these adorable woodland animal foil balloons. This adorable fox, deer, red coon, and hedgehog. You will need a balloon pump if not included, a manual pump or electrical pump. I highly recommend an electrical pump for your latex balloons. Trust me, you will want this to save time and breath. And I recommend a hand pump for your small foyer balloons. The kit also came with three piece accessories, glue dots, balloon script, and a balloon screen. You will need two 60Q balloons, fishing line, or scrum screen. This will be the base of your garland instead of a balloon script. You will also need two 60s for your foil balloon. And lastly, tape to attach your two 60s to your foil balloons. Now let's inflate balloons to form quad clusters to build the garland. I first will start by inflating two 10 inch balloons in various sizes. This will help give your garland that professional organic look. See how the balloons have these cony shapes? Take and press down on them and slowly release the air to get that nice round shape for a more professional look. To tie them together, lay one neck over the other Pull tight against each other, wrap it around twice, and tie a simple knot, making a duplet. I will do the same with two other 10 inch balloons, making another duplet. I took both duplets, bought them together, took one balloon from each, twist them together, forming a quad of four balloons. I then inflated one 10 inch and one 18 inch balloon, making a duplet. I took the duplet and the quad, bought them together, took one small balloon from each, twist them together, forming a medium cluster of six balloons. I will use these clusters to build the main base of the garland. Next, I inflated four 10 inch balloons, tied them together close to the neck of the balloons, making duplets and forming small quads of four balloons.
I will use these small cords to wrap into the main base of the garland to make the garland fuller. I will now inflate four five inch balloons forming many cords of four balloons. I will use these mini cords to add to the main base of the garland to fill in gaps and to give the garland a more uniform appearance. And I will continue this process with all the other colors of balloons, forming mini clusters, small cords, and medium cords until I have enough to build the garland. Let's inflate the foyer balloon and attach the 260 onto it. I use the hand pump to inflate the foyer balloon, making sure not to overinflate it to prevent popping. I place a 260 balloon horizontally onto the back of the balloon. I then place horizontally a strip of tape to the middle of the 260 and secured it with two vertically strips of tape on each side. I then tie both ends of the 260 into a triple knot creating a rubber band. Now that all the quad clusters are formed, let's build our garland using the 260 method. I'm just pushing all the air out of the 260s to allow me to stretch them even more, and I tied them together into a knot. I tied one end of the 260 into a knot around the middle of the cluster. I then place a new cluster on top of the existing cluster, press down on it, wrap the 260 around it in a fig eight pattern, wrap around once for good measures and pull tight. Take your new cluster, place it on top of the existing cluster, press down, wrap the 260 around in a fig eight pattern, Wrap it around once for good measures. Pull tight and just continue on with the process until you have reached your desired length. To extend the 260, just tie another 260 to it. When you have reached your desired length, tie the 260 to the neck of a balloon in the cluster. You will need a structure to attach the garland to. I am using my four by seven feet arch frame. It is super easy to assemble. You just connect the base to the base bar using the corner connectors. Match the same numbers together when assembling and continue assembling the frame matching the numbers together. I purchased this arch frame in a set of three from Etsy.com for $189.99. The other size frames are a three by five and a three by six. The frames are lightweight and durable. To cover the stand, I am using my four by 7.2 feet wooden arch spandex cover that I purchased from Amazon.com. 
Take your arch frame and backdrop cover and lay them flat on a clean surface and carefully slide the cover over the top of the arch frame. Once the top is in place, lift the arch and pull the fabric evenly down both sides of the arch. The goal is to make sure the fabric is smooth and free of wrinkles. The fabric should hug the arch frame tightly without sagging. Smooth out any visible wrinkles as you work. After position the cover at the top and side, gently pull the fabric down to cover the bottom of the stand. If your backdrop has elastic, this should be easy to scratch and fit over the base. I highly recommend using weight plates or any other type of weight for outdoors or high traffic areas. Take a step back and check the entire backdrop. Adjust the fabric to make sure it's perfectly and smooth and centered. Now that the backdrop is in place, let's add the garland. To secure the garland to the backdrop, I took 260s tied their ends together, creating rubber bands. I placed the rubber bands into the jaw of the backdrop clips and attached them onto eight points on the backdrop stand. Let's attach the garland to the backdrop. I positioned the garland where I wanted it, pulled the rubber band, looped it around one of the back balloons in the cluster, and I continued the process securing the garland onto the stand. Once your garland is securely in place, step back and make any necessary adjustments to the balloons and the overall shape. Now let's wrap the small quads into the garland to make it fuller. Guys, I really like this balloon kit. The quality and texture of the balloons are good. The balloons are soft and flexible. I was concerned about the balloons popping when assembling the garland, but the garland was easy to construct. What I did not like about the kit was the small 10 inch balloons. I would have liked for it to have had 11 or 12 inch balloons instead. And I would definitely recommend this kit to DIYers and balloon artists for practice and who needs to add to their portfolio. To add volume to the base, I wrap into the garland a nude and gold cord. I wrap a brown, gold, and green cord into the base for a little more volume. Let's add the mini quads to the garland using the rubber band method to fill in gaps and to give the garland a more uniform appearance. To 
attach the foil balloons to the garland, I loop the rubber bands around one of the balloons in the clusters. Let's add flowers to the garland. I place flowers in two uninflated balloons and wrap pipe cleaners around the balloons to secure the flowers. To add a touch of elegance to the garland, I simply tuck the flowers in between the balloons. To take the backdrop up to the next level, I use my glue dashes to secure this super cute little wooden old baby sign to the backdrop. And there you have it, a gorgeous professional looking balloon garland backdrop, all done with a simple Amazon kit and no script. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more DIY party decor ideas. Thanks for watching, and until next time, you guys stay blessed, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!